right, good morning. It's January 6th, a Thursday. Um, hope everybody's doing all right. And uh, I'm just gonna jump right into this reading because one of my goals is to really try and shorten the time on these so that more people can enjoy them or feel like they have the time to enjoy these readings. You know, it's interesting to me because as a reader, I, I like getting into the details of the matter and um, you could almost draw on um, infinite levels of, of detail and you know what, I'm going to reserve that for personal reads so if you want to come talk to me just reach out and let me know if there's a specific question you have or you want a, a general read or a, any kind of read and I'd be more than happy to do so. so for now, we'll, we'll keep these readings to under 20 minutes, okay? This is the plan. Let's do it. All that glitters. Okay. Truth be told. Tick-tock. Interesting. So, I can tell this is going to be a reading about... Um, somebody's chasing after something that looks good but isn't really truthfully good for them like someone is saying like I want this thing because I know it, it'll be good for me this is the kind of life that I want um, but it's not actually it feels like this is not a good fit now the TikTok card I got this morning, it's not a card I get very often, so I'll just go ahead and read it really quick. TikTok is about divine timing. It's about the idea that um, the time is right now and it is in the reverse. So it's almost like until you release um, some sort of imagined life path or, or goal, you know, some, some treasure, all that glitters that you think is, or you think, or the, the thing that you've been chasing that you think is good for you or meant for you is not actually here. Let's see what. Ah, here we go. Have you been feeling as if the clock is ticking and gotten a little nervous that your dreams are taking too long to manifest? There is nothing to fear. You will never run out of time for the important things. The miracles that are yours and yours alone can't be missed. Isn't that amazing? You're in such capable hands with guides and angels hovering in the invisible spaces, ensuring that your journey will be filled with all sorts of goodies. Let your anxiety be gently dispelled by your faith. Spirit will never deny you your highest good. All is yours in divine, appropriate timing. You can relax. This is similar to a message I got this morning, as in um, the message was... Um, you know, being is enough. You don't need to do as much right now. And you know, I'll agree with that. I mean, just look at what's going on in the world right now. And I get really surprised at <clears throat> some folks who are just sort of, I mean, I'll, I'll say primarily on social media, behaving as if, you know, we're not in a global health crisis. I think it's fine to be proud of how far you've come and, and, and be hopeful for the future, but um, there is a certain dissonance uh, that does not sort of, for me personally, uh, that just doesn't make sense, honestly, to be <sighs> sharing or, or, or discussing that, you know, is sort of irrelevant. It's that all that glitters. Now, it's not that that stuff won't be yours, right? Like this, uh, whatever your goals are, your, you know, it's, it's whether it's about your career or something that you've recently achieved or are very close to achieving. Um, it's not that you're not supposed to be, you shouldn't celebrate that. But the timing <laughs> is, is off here today. Let's look at truth be told real quick because truth be told is about opening your heart 
and letting your true self be seen. And so this is really, you know, this is what happens when we, when we put ourselves out there, right? And be vulnerable because we're presenting ourselves in a way that says we're ready for this gold for this thing that glitters like this is this is the, this is sort of like the end goal but it's showing up in the reverse here so i'll just read the protection message yeah where are you being dishonest with yourself and others if you're unhappy in any area of your life look for signs of denial this can also pertain to others being misleading or withholding or acting from hidden agendas now is the time to say no to dishonesty in all forms ask for the truth even if you don't like what you hear acknowledge it will be key to a beautiful new future where you no longer labor under the heavy burdens that deceit and denial impose on you set yourself free nothing less than the truth is required now yeah you know the truth doesn't glitter right the things that glitter are is, are, is everything that's on the facade the thing that we put out there for people to see and you're like no don't look at this other stuff <laughs> um, for me this is really resonating like the way that social media operates and you know the intention of that even yesterday I was on a phone call and they're like looks like you're doing great grace you've been everything's been going swell your social media is bopping and I'm just like if you say so it's just a facade like people don't understand you know I don't know anyway so like there's the message here generally is if you really are all about that facade you would be deceiving yourself and others there's something deeper worth paying attention to because it's not gonna go anywhere right there will be a time and place for those things to surface um, I f it feels to me as though th these are things that need to be nurtured um, and so maybe it's just about taking a step back right now and seeing um, where you are in the context of all of this are you you know where where are you where are you resonating right now is it are you somewhere up in this sort of this high level like really understanding your motives your desires um, are you breathing and meditating each day and really feeling your feelings about each day before you take action or are you resonating somewhere down here um, in a more superficial place um, you know chasing sort of like dopamine rushes or something just just chasing what glitters chasing what feels good in the moment instead of what you believe is actually good for you in the long term okay let's get into the reading Underneath, the fool, the soul of the tarot, the fool, okay, knight of swords, the world, five of wands, ten of swords, ace of cups in the middle, ace of swords, Ooh. four of wands, Five of Cups and Page of Pentacles. My goodness. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, 
give me a second. We got a couple fives on the table. Um, also, truth be told, is a five card. Got seven, five, three. You know, fives are just sort of uncomfortable, right? So, like, there is some sort of change here. Um, I think maybe this is about somebody who has been. Since the fool is sort of the energy of this whole thing it could be something about where we have acted na naively as in um, I don't want to say mindlessly because we have the knight of swords here which is about the mind but like it is this is unbridled ambition something is happening we have been moving very very quickly towards something that towards something regardless of understanding how this is uh, meant to impact us and others there is the the world is here so this is about closing off some sort of cycle this, this, energetically i'm feeling like this whole section is sort of like off on its own and then there's like this new shit that comes in so let me try to understand what what that is the closure here is about chasing anything superficial. Um, about mindlessly wandering toward um, ambition for the sake of ambition. You know, this this kind of... Um, hmm. This really does feel to me like how we, you know, like what is success to you? What, how do we measure success in general um, in this society we live in now? Um, there's a lot of noise around and a lot of, I'll say, false ideas around what it means to be successful, that you need a life that looks a certain way, uh, material possessions of a certain value, and... Um, you know, and all that, all of that, all that superficial bullshit. And it's uncomfortable to even at times acknowledge that this is not the things that will make us happy or fulfilled. So it's a challenge to put away those notions as and, and re redefine them as harmful and destructive to our um, well-being because we are so we are raised with with so much of this already ingrained in us from a very young age and even this is like generational this is this has this is bigger than you and it's bigger than you know your all of the generations of your family who are still alive this is like age old stuff here you know just building on and on and on itself so what comes next I think that the focus here is intended to be um, we have the ace of cups in the middle followed immediately by the ace of swords this is about a brand new beginning that is emotionally fulfilling and that is feels so closer to the real you the real the real truth of like what feels good to you um, and what is worth pursuing here Th these are brand new concepts um, brand new feelings about um, our stability about what feels like is what what feels blah, 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 what we feel is worth committing to 
and not be disappointed you know this is this is the challenge right this is why this is so challenging and, and because it is so new to us to a lot of us and even those of us who it's not new to the ones who understand that capitalism sucks and is um, destroying us all the challenge is that we are we live every day waking up disappointed that this is the way that the world works I think that the, the solace here, right, is that the curiosity of understanding why things work the way they do, that is sort of a uh, gateway into uh, imagining new systems of change. Five is a change number, and so we have five and five here. And it's uncomfortable. Change is uncomfortable, yet it's the only constant thing. So I think, you know, um, the fool being this new fresh energy as well you know the high vibe in fool is somebody who sees everything as new and sees the potential in all things the, in, in, a, in a very positive way the low vibe in fool is the one who's easy to take advantage of and so what we know about pages and we have this page at the end is that pages don't make the same mistake twice this page of pentacles knows better but before he takes any action you see how the, the we started with the knight we end on the page instead of taking any more action in a in any manner that is you know out of quickly let's do the thing it has to happen now um that is so false like there's no um i mean a, a lot of us know and a lot of people that you know in my community understand that uh, a false sense of urgency is sort of just like a, a, a culture item of white supremacy and so you know we should know better by now than to ever say that something is required in the moment when really it isn't I mean unless we're saving lives but I work in entertainment so that's really not the case it really isn't this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about where it's like we want to we're trying to understand better why things have been established the way that they have been so that we can become again agents of change the things that are meant for you personally on a, on a more personal level will never pass you by that's what spirit is saying here but it's time to um, stop fooling yourself <laughs> into into um, you know fooling yourself as in <clears throat> and others as in don't let the energy that you put out, that you like, um, are, uh, you know, your aura, your whatever, only be about the superficial things. Like if you're never really admitting that there are things that aren't working, then you're not fostering any kind of energy or communication around how things could be better. It's almost like yeah, you're if you're if you're in this low low vibe here is it's it's unbridled ambition without acknowledging that certain things need to change you're sort of just like ignoring all all of these other problems and going for your own thing at all costs um, good for you I guess but it's not very friendly and it's not very collaborative and it's not it's not very meaningful to be honest <laughs> The things that are for you that you're going for will never pass you by anyway. So why don't you just slow down a minute and like work with, um, work with us. Um, this is supposed to feel really good. These brand new beginning, the Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. There's commitment here. Sure, there's a little bit of disappointment, but I feel like this is the level of, <laughs> this is the kind of um, disappointment here that's, you know, sometimes it's you know for, for another group of, of us it's hard to look away from the things that are really troublesome you know right now it's January 6th the one-year anniversary of the, um, the insurrection on the White House like that was kind of fucked up you know excuse my language but who cares it's my channel like I was just sort of transported back in time when that was happening.
Yeah, man, that was that was some pretty intense stuff. And then for me, because like it was the day before my birthday, you know, some of my friends were like, "Let's have a party, let's hang out, let's do something for your birthday." And I'm like, "How can you even? <laughs> How can you even?" This is what I'm talking about. Like, if you're gonna be superficial, like, let's at least please acknowledge and honor the people affected by this, which is all of us. And not just that, but other events. So that's the kind of disappointment I feel like this card is embodying, this, this Five of Cups. It's here to show us that, you know, it's okay to um, be, to honor your feelings about the things that hurt us, the things that feel disappointing to us. There are two cups here that are still standing though, and those are the ones that we sh that are worth focusing on. And the Page of Pentacles again is here to, to uh, remind us to take some time out to do do some digging, do a little bit of research, become knowledgeable on the areas that interest you um, when it comes to things we wish worked differently. And that's 20 minutes, y'all. So um, I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. I'll do another one tomorrow. Peace.